Hello everyone, hello my Egyptian family. There was one amazing question in my last video which I would like to continue with. And the question sounds like that. Why Egyptian women don't like Egyptian men with kids? Egyptian widow or single fathers or like that. Which I found really very interesting topic and today I would like to speak about it more deeply. I know and I remember that, that I mentioned this in the past in my previous videos but as I realized in my previous videos I was giving you a lot of points, a lot of topics in one video which could make it more complicated for some people to understand. So right now I would like to go step by step to each of problems and really go deep. Okay, so I hope you will appreciate it and enjoy it. So let's go to this problem. For the first time of my life I know who I am. My heart belongs to no one but Egypt. It's because of their poetry of life and freedom. So first of all, if you are a foreigner and you are dating Egyptian man, probably mostly online dating, and he's telling you like it's very hard here in Egypt to find a woman who loves to take care of my kids and and he makes you feel like he's the victim of the situation and he must do everything by himself. So first of all, I will tell you the truth now. This is their very famous flirting technique. Okay, I know that now many Egyptian men will hate me that I reveal it so openly, but that's really true. And actually this is an ancient technique which Egyptian men was using even in the history. And still some men use it till nowadays and still it's working, right? So why not? Why they want to use it? So first of all, the first red flag is this is the flirting technique. By the way, if you want to know more about Egyptian men flirting methods, because now I mentioned just one of them, so I recommend you to check my online course, which the link will be in the description and in the comments. So you can easily find it. And there are a lot of ways which we describe it actually, how the Egyptian mentality works into depths and details. So I hope it will help you, you will enjoy it. And now let me explain you. If uh, the man is telling you he's a single father, he must take care of the kids alone, it doesn't matter if he's widower or not or if he's divorced, uh, this is not the point now, but really the question for you here, do you think that he really take care of the kids alone? Do you really think so that he take care of the kids, go to work, make all the housework alone, he's studying with the kids, playing with the kids, cooking for them and so on? No, really, this is one of the biggest culture differences. Maybe in Europe or America it could work so. I knew personally single fathers who did all the job by themselves in Europe back then, but in Egypt, no. First of all, Egyptian men are in common very very spoiled men from their moms. This is the first basic rules. They don't know how to take care of themselves properly. So don't suppose they will know how to take care of a kid and especially if they stay alone. Don't think they will cook for them neither clean, no way. But the trick is here, as I told you many times, Egyptians are stuck with their families, right? It's very rare if you see here someone, it doesn't matter if it's men or women, but to live on their own. This is not how it works here. So here, if a man gets to such a problem that he stay with the kids alone, so all the family will definitely help him. All of his family. And in Egypt we have really big and huge families. It can reach even hundreds of members of the family. Alright? It's not small families, they are big. And all of the people will help the man in such situation. And especially his mom, his sister, his aunt. So how it look in the real life, even if the father has to take care of the kids, it will look like he will put the kids with his mom or with his sister, with his aunt, that the women will take care of the kids, meaning the women will cook for the kids, the women will play with the kids, the women will study with them, the women will prepare absolutely everything, and the man, what his real job and is to go to work and provide money for the kids. Then maybe he take them out 
to have some fun or to play with them but the real care is always here on women so the man in Egypt is never never alone in such a situation so if he makes you feel like guilty about himself he's playing on you he's flirting with you okay he wanna just get you to the position where he wants you to be to feel sorry for him and then it's very easier uh, play on your feelings more and deeper so you will feel sorry for him and then by the time you will fall in love with him possible that's the plan right now back to our problem the question was if Egyptian woman has a problem with a widow who has a kid I believe this is a little bit complicated but in general Egyptian women don't have problem with it so much than Egyptian men okay let me explain you this point if Egyptian men with kids want to find a new wife for the kids it's not that hard really there are plenty of women who will accept the condition right uh, women here in Egypt love wedding and their biggest dream is to get married this is one of their life goal in general to get married most of them till nowadays and I believe you can find a tons of very kind women who will take care of the kids as well and take them as they own and have no problem with it I know personally such a woman who did it but the real problem is that the Egyptian man wants mostly a virgin woman well but if he has already kids it's this is a little bit hard for them you know I have a kids but I still want a virgin new woman a young woman who has no life experience to take care of my kids because you know every young woman wanna enjoy the man at the start of course it's a normal I believe if the Egyptian man who went for older or mature women maybe also single mother with kids it will be much easier but this is the problem of the Egyptian men they don't want this because if I opposite it okay so Egyptian men will never marry a woman with kids or widow or older woman Egyptian men has a big problem with this but in the same time they want from the women to accept it you know you see the problem here really I remember my friend Egyptian woman before years ago asked me if I can find a bride for her brother and this man actually was very old he was almost 50 and he already was divorced with the kids but the kids was with the mom anyway uh, I offered her um, another friend who was in her 30s and virgin okay so not married and the man refused he told this woman is already old I want some really young one around 18 19 20 years we speak about which me personally at the time I found him like is he crazy like he must know that he's at 50 he wasn't that beautiful he didn't have even so much fortune yet he was divorced so he had not that good condition but he was searching for the perfect woman for him okay so mostly this is the problem of the Egyptian man they they don't want get married to older women or widow or single mothers which I see very very unfair well and that's the reason why the Egyptian men try it on us foreigners there's really big difference if Egyptian men would marry Egyptian woman as a single mother with the kids so all the people all the society will look at him even like a very strange way but if he is marrying single mother from foreign country it's acceptable here well still from the point that you are a foreign lady and they know especially if you move to Egypt even with your kids so they'll never have problem with the father of the kids right yet in Egypt if he would marry single mother with the kids so possibly he would have problem with the father of the kids this is really even more complicated with the fathers because here in Egypt no father wants his children to be grown by another man yet we foreigners we don't mind this foreigners a lot of time even they are not in touch even with the biological father right so this is the actual true reason why it's acceptable to marry a foreigner single mother or but there is also one good point even Egyptian people say they love children so much and it's true they really love and adore children 
and treat them very very nicely I can confirm it you know that I personally have a daughter and I love how she grew up here in Egypt by the love of other people even for the other children the children who are not ours right we can still truly love them truly take care of them truly play with them whatever we want we will have the connection we will build the connection we will have the feeling this is the maybe which Egyptian will never have with their foreign children. You know, if a uh, Egyptian come, it doesn't matter if it's man or woman now, but if they will take care of the foreign kids, you will always feel a little bit distance, some difference. But this also matter very much on which person is it, on the character of the person. There are some men in Egypt, they can seem perfect Muslims and everything, but if it came to this situation, they will show their true faces, you know? But the problematic with the children in Egypt is much bigger than this, even the question of adoption and so on. As I told, I believe we as a foreigners, we handle those situations much, much better than Egyptians themselves. However, at the end, my last word to over this topic. Really, Egyptian women are not bad in this at all and I believe there are a lot of kind women who can take care of foreign kids and love them. Okay, thank you so much for watching and see you next time.